Hey guys, welcome back to Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today we're going to be making phyllo chicken rolls. It's also known as msachan, but that's a little bit hard to say, so we're going to stick with phyllo chicken rolls. Um, it's really easy to make. You can make it with leftover chicken. Uh, it's simple. You put it together. It serves great as an appetizer if you have friends coming over and you don't know what to serve them, or if you want to take it to the office just to impress your friends. Really quick, really easy. If you want this recipe written out with all the ingredients, go to my website www.ddmed.com and if you need any of the ingredients you can also go to my store page I sell a lot of the spices there and a lot of other things that you can use in your kitchen remember join my social network because there you can talk to other people who watch my videos who have other input and help you out with making your recipes now I'm going to tell you what we need and we're going to put it together here's what you're going to need some chicken either boiled broiled whatever left chicken you have um, cut up into pieces, some sliced onions, melted butter, phyllo dough, a brush to brush the phyllo dough, a pan, I have some cayenne pepper, some paprika, some samak, black pepper, and salt. I have a pan that's a little bit preheated on medium heat. I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil, my preferred king fat. I'm going to add the onions. And we're going to cook the onions until they have a little bit of color. While the onions are cooking, I'm going to just piece up the chicken. You want it in really small pieces because we're going to roll this in the phyllo dough. So just with your fingers, piece up the chicken, shred it up, just like that. And this is just basic chicken I had, you know, cooked the day before. I had sauteed it with a little bit of salt and pepper. You want to watch your salt content if you've already pre-cooked the chicken so it's not too salty. So just like that, let the onions go for uh, about five minutes until they're brown. So here's the chicken. You can see that the onions are a little bit brown and translucent. The chicken has a little bit of color. To this, I'm going to add some fresh black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of paprika, a little bit of cayenne pepper for a kick. And then I'm going to add some samak. Mix it all up, and then we're going to get our phyllo dough ready. So I have the phyllo dough rolled out here. You can see I have a couple layers. I'm going to cut it down the middle. Just like that. You want to get your butter. Lightly butter it. Because remember, our uh, chicken has olive oil in it, so it has a, a, a base of fat. So just a little bit of phyllo dough, just like that. And we're going to get our chicken. I'm going to put a little bit of chicken, just like that. I'll roll a couple just to show you how it is. And while we're doing this, make sure you preheat the oven to about uh, 400 degrees. So let's separate our phyllo sheets. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to do two sheets at a time. Just like this. Fold it over. And then you want to roll it up like a roll. Just like that. We'll do this one. Do two sheets. Don't do more than two sheets because then it gets too thick. If you want them smaller, you can add less stuffing. So, just like that. And don't worry if it breaks, it's okay. That's why there's more. We're going to put it in a pan. And then we're going to paint it with some butter. Just like that. You just want to glaze it with some butter. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna finish rolling these out and then we're gonna put them in the oven and cook them for about 10 to 15 minutes or until you Our see the phyllo chicken brown. rolls are done. And the smell of the buttery phyllo is just amazing. I have to tell you. I want you to look at this before I move them. I brush them nice and evenly with butter. 
and they got nice and brown. See that? Here's the, the big ones that I rolled. And then I, I rolled, I continued to roll a couple of smaller ones with only one sheet of phyllo because I like the smaller ones. I think they're easier to handle. If you're going to serve them um, as a, a side dish, then you want to make them bigger. If you want to serve them as an appetizer, you want to make them smaller. So I'm going to put this in a little plate. Oh, they're nice and crispy. Careful because they are still hot. Look at that. See? They're nice and uniform. I'm going to cut one for you so you can see what it looks like. It's good to let them cool a little bit before you serve them. Just like that. See? You can see the chicken. Woo, it's hot. The chicken, the onion. The phyllo, it's all cooked. It's nice and brown on the bottom. Mmm, it smells amazing. It's too hot for me to taste right now, but I promise you, it tastes great. The samak, the, the tanginess of the samak and the chicken and the sweetness of the onions go great together. Try it out. If you have leftover chicken, it's easy, it's fast. Email me, get this recipe on my website, www.ddmed.com. Go there, there's a lot of things there for you to enjoy, and I will see you again at Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen.